Well, when I first moved into this house, I did have a tree that was right in the front of my yard and I enjoyed sitting on the porch and under the shade of that tree. But when we had an ice storm, it damaged the tree and the tree needed to be cut down. So I was looking forward to the opportunity to plant an another tree in my yard. The best time to plant a tree in Central Ohio is obviously in the fall, after everything starts to go dormant, or in the spring prior to when the leaves start to emerge. However, any time during the year is appropriate for planting trees if the tree is properly cared for, tarped in transportation, and watered immediately after planting. The best way to figure out what you want to plant into your yard is to look at the space. Figure out how much room you have, width, depth, whether it's close to your house, in the back of the yard, underneath power lines or other utilities. In general, you shouldn't put any tree within 10 feet of your house. Make sure that you've got plenty of spacing for the branching so it's not rubbing against your house. Look up for overhead utility wires so that you don't have conflicts with those as the tree ages. Make sure that you call the Ohio Utilities Protection Service at least 48 hours before you dig in your yard. They will come out, mark your utility lines to make sure that you are clear to plant the tree in that location and so there's no accidents and no damage to local utilities. You can contact the Ohio State University Extension Office, go to a local garden center or look online and try and figure out what tree would be suitable for the space that you have available. Once you're ready to plant the tree, dig the hole twice as wide as what the root mass is. You don't want to go any deeper than what the depth of that mass is, whether it's a container or a bald and burlap. Double measure that you have the correct depth. If you need to add soil to the bottom of the hole, make sure that you firm down that soil so that the root ball doesn't settle after it's planted and become too deep. Once you have the tree, you want to remove the plastic container from around the root system. Remove a sliver of roots off the bottom if it is pot bound. Score up the sides to prevent any roots from continuing to grow in a circle once it's new planted. Remove any excess soil or rooting off of the top of the container media to expose the root flare of the tree. Once you're ready to put the tree in a hole, center it within the space, lightly filling in the soil around it, compacting slowly as you move up. Fill the dirt in to the top of the hole. Once your tree's backfilled, take some extra soil, make a saucer shape around the edge of the root hole. Put that in place and that will help retain water and prevent it from running off. Mulch your tree after planting to help retain soil moisture, keep pests and insects away, and to prevent lawnmower damage. Apply it at a depth of no more than three inches and taper down to the trunk so that you're not smothering right up against the trunk. Leave no more than three inches of mulch every year. Remove the old if you need to, it's if it's becoming too heavy. For me, I like to place the hose in three locations around the trunk, spaced evenly, letting the water run lightly on a slow trickle for at least five minutes. The goal is to get at least 10 gallons of water for every inch caliper of tree that you are planting. Well, I would encourage other homeowners to plant trees on their property because it I know one thing, it will increase the property value if you decide to resell, but more importantly, it adds to the beautification, not on your own uh, property's landscape, but also the landscaping and the canopy within the neighborhood. And for me, being in Linden, it's improving the landscaping along the Cleveland Avenue corridor. Well, I think trees are important because they um, improve the air quality um, and you know I, I have a sense that trees are intellectual plants um, that not only do they add to our air quality but, and improve our health but they also have potential for increasing our lifespan.